you know, praise God. So you can have a seat. So today, um, you know why we're all here. We're going to quiet our minds. Oh, Welcome to First Person Defender, where regular people come face to face with unknown attackers. Drop the gun! And fight their way out. This is First Person Defender. Churches are supposed to be a place of peace. Unfortunately, they have been targeted by shooters, by murderers. What do you do if a shooting breaks out at your church? Can you handle all the moving parts? All that right now on First Person Defender. These force on force scenarios use training guns that fire non-lethal projectiles. I've only been shooting for uh, 10 years and I'm at retirement age now, that's for sure. Uh, I do work part time as a uh, armored car driver. So I do wear a gun every day. What I like about Tom is he's an older dog and it's not true that you can't teach them new tricks. He is one of those guys that wants to learn new tricks. He's out there, he's learned a new hobby in the last 10 years. He's learning all kinds of new things. He's doing force on force training. He wants to become responsible for himself and his own security. I think that's a really great trait in a guy like him. I was robbed at gunpoint on a route truck that I was on uh, back in uh, 2010. It was one of those life changing moments. It, it changed my perception of good and evil in this world. And you know, I always thought, well, if that happens to somebody else in the news, it never happens to me. But it did, broad daylight in the middle of the summer. A couple weeks later, they had a uh, no-tax gun sale going on, and I said, this is time for me to buy a gun. Didn't touch it, didn't put ammo in it until I had a, a private lesson at a, at a gun shop. And a couple months later, I got my concealed carry license. One of the places that we really do see quite a bit of attention in active shooter situations is churches. So having a scenario inside of a church is not really outside of the realm of possibility. We train in Ohio, we train a lot of church security services. I know that there are a lot of teams in other states and there's a lot of people that carry in church because they can. And if they can, they certainly do and rightfully so. Nothing ever happens at church. Tom is enjoying the service when a couple of late arrivals put him on edge. Is he ready to respond in a timely manner, or will he falter under pressure? Um, but I'm glad that we're able to get back in church. And you know, it, it, for a while we had to do this stuff all on Zoom and all that, so no more Zoom church. So we're actually all here together. So that's good. Amen. So we can get started, all right? So um, we'll start out like we always do. Everybody just stand up for me. Everybody rise, okay? And uh, kind of Quiet your minds and quiet your cell phones and prepare yourself for, uh, for the service today, okay? All right, everybody, you can be seated. All right, so what we're gonna do today is like we do every Sunday, we're just gonna get together and, and uh, you know, praise God. So you can have a seat. So today, um, you know why we're all here. We're gonna quiet our minds. Oh, oh, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down. Somebody call 911. Down. Down. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it! Move! Everybody okay? Did you call 911? Yeah, my 911 right now. It's been a shooting at the church of the FRC. Is she okay? How about check? Index, index, index. All right, Tom, so tell me what happened. Whew. Church didn't start it up and someone jumped over there and started shooting at people. So I got up, I had my gun with me and uh, addressed the situation. What was the most difficult part of that? 
Probably the biggest part was other people being up and around, and I didn't want to strike anybody that was innocent there. And I, that's why I yelled down. I had a feeling there was somebody that was panicking really close to you. Absolutely. In your way. Tried to get away as soon as I could. So did you get, I didn't know. I thought that handed? was a threat there. One of the things I noticed too, did you have a malfunction with your gun? Yes. What happened? I pulled the trigger, nothing happened. I did a tap rack. Seemed like you might have wounded him because he didn't go down hard, did he? No, that's why I kept my, pist my pistol on and kicked the pistol out. You kept have, waving that pistol around and you just kept standing there bigger than life. I mean, what if he would have shot you? I was watching that pistol, yeah. <laughs> I could have got hit. Yeah. Listen, uh, you know, when the bad guy went down, he still had that gun in his hand and he was still kind of alive, right? All right, so you went over there and you kind of kicked that gun away. Well, what I prefer to do is, I either prefer to leave it so I don't have to get really close to him and then just cover him. Or if I could, after a little bit of time, maybe I get antsy because I'm tired of covering him and I'm tired of watching his hand on that gun. I would just come up there and put my foot on it and drag it away. Okay. We're accountable for all those rounds that we put down range though, right? We got one over there on the wall. And there could have been someone over there. Grip sights and trigger. So we need to, we need to work on accuracy with you Okay. We need to work on clearing people that are a, a problem for you because if, if he's, if he was, I didn't see exactly what he did, but we got to get him away from us. It's good to have options when you carry. Kimber makes a lot of guns, a lot of options there. You've got the Evo, you've got the KCXS revolver. So we appreciate Kimber America's support. Check them out at KimberAmerica.com. So <clears throat> the bad guy starts shooting, KJ starts nutting up, and I'm like, geez, get away from me, get away from me. And, he's, and you started, you were getting up too. As, as he's doing this, this is my control point on anybody. So I'm gonna tell him, get away from me. And I come out with my gun, okay? So I hook him and I move him, but I can hook because where the head goes, the body goes. Right. So then the gun comes out and I've got my bad guy down range. Sean, I want you to start moving quickly. Did I miss you? No. Did I miss you ever? No. Two eyes wide open. All I want to do is see through the sights. I want you to do that same thing. Okay, so Tom, go ahead and have a seat. Let's do the first thing. Let's work on the move of getting him out of your way. So let's do this real slow. So the bad guy starts shooting. KJ panics and gets in your lap and says, get down, get down, get, down, get, down, get down. Wrong hand. <laughs> Wrong hand, because that hand's got to be going for your gun. <laughs> But he had his so own him, arm on. That's all right. You I get him move. off you and you say, you get down. Get the hell out of my way. Get out. Get out of my Hook way. Hook him by the neck. If you were in my way and I had a gun in my hand and I came up here and I grab you like this, can you, can you feel how I move you? Yes. <laughs> that's very little. So that's what you're looking for. And I hook onto my neck like that with this. Oh. With your not. Yeah, you can hook on there. You can pull and push down. You can hook around from this side even. Hook the neck, not the, not the shoulders. And you pull, pull me toward, there you go. See how you're pulling me? Yeah. Pull? As soon as you start hooking me and taking me that way, I go. So that's what you're doing with these okay. people. So somebody comes up, they get in your way, you're like, no, get back, get out of the way, get behind me. Gun's coming out, because this hand might be full already. You might already have your gun in your hand. Yeah. So this hand is all you've got. I mean, it's okay to grab onto people in shirts. But when you grab them by the neck, you hook them by the back of the neck like that, it starts moving them. <laughs> All right, here we go. The shooting right. starts. KJ says, get down, get down, get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. You get down. Keep shooting him. If he keeps moving. Ow. All right. OK, that's good. He felt that one. Yeah. Shoot get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out of the way. Get that gun out. Sights on target. It's our sponsors that make this possible. Ruger has been there from the very beginning. One of their most popular guns right now is the PC Charger Pistol. Very cool, compact nine millimeter. Check them out at Ruger.com.
In scenario training, especially in force-on-force -force training, we see a lot of people that just thrust the gun out in front of them when they're presented with a threat. They thrust it out at chest or chin level, no matter what the distance is to the target. Well, most of the times, the target's close enough that they luck into some hits, but the misses are what concerns me. They put sights on a gun for a reason. The sights help you drive the muzzle towards the target. I want to show you the difference between chest or chin level firing at 20 feet and using the sights to some degree. Now I've got a popular carry pistol here. This has a little more sights than some of them. Folks generally fire between two and four rounds when they do these scenarios. So since I have six in here, I'll do three unsighted and three sighted. I'm gonna try to do them at lethal threat speed, just like you'd see in a scenario. So here's chest or chin level. I got two misses, but I walked one in. So this time, I'm gonna use the sights. Let's see the difference. Huge difference, just having that little bit of reference. I'm looking at the target, but I'm looking through the sights. And after all, you're responsible for every round that comes out of your firearm. First Person Defender brought to you by Crimson Trace, Springfield Armory, GunTalkTV.com and Ruger. Tom is singing Alleluia once again when the church service is disrupted. When shots ring out during the service, will Tom put an end to the violence? Raise some money for it, so it'll be good. Um, so anyway, um, looks like it's we're about there, about time to start. All right, so. Let's we'll start like we do every time. Everybody stand up. All right, everybody kind of silence your minds, silence your phones and all that stuff. And uh, we'll get started here in just a minute. Um, one thing that we got to remember is, you know, this is kind of working. Oh! Call 911. Okay. Is everybody okay? Check him out. I got the police on the phone. Good. All right, what do you want her to tell the police? Tell them we got one down, active shooter, down. Uh, send an ambulance. Everybody else okay? Index, index, index. What happened? I'm gonna go find another church. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> little different this time. Definitely. Tell me what you experienced. Well, I was kind of watching the room as I was coming in. I saw someone standing at the back, and I said, well, what's going on here? You know, I didn't know if he was uh, sure or whatever, but uh, he came in real quick and started firing. So I, I got up, and moved on over, and took him on, I guess. <laughs> well, it, it did happen very fast. It, it looked to me like you connected with your first shot. He kept coming at you, and he was kind of going forward, going forward. What'd you do? I think I hesitated. I should have been kept firing. You did. You shot him some more. Yeah. You, Listen, you should never answer questions immediately after a shooting. Ah! <laughs> Let me talk to my lawyer first. Well, yes, because it's very hard to remember everything, right. and I'm having to jog your brain. I had a good seat this time. It jumped off fast, didn't oh, it? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I was right behind you. And when <laughs> it happened, it was fast. Very much. How long do you think it took? Maybe four or five seconds. Now, the whole scenario all the way to the end was probably less than a minute, I would think. So 
But when, when law enforcement and safety services is only a matter of minutes away. We'll just wait for them. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hand me your gun. Let's see how many times you shot. Okay? All right. All right. You shot four times and you had four hits. I like that. <laughs> so do I. When you have somebody get on the phone, you got to tell them, say, let them know there's been a shooting. Everybody says there's an active shooter. Shooter down. That doesn't mean anything to dispatch. They have no idea what that stuff means. Oh. You guys have got to say something like, tell them though there's been a shooting. Tell them I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a concealed carry citizen. I'm okay, but the shooter has been neutralized. The shooter's been taken down. There's no more shooting right now. Let them know what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this green shirt. Looks corny, but it's part of the show. You know, all that, you know, okay. try to think about how you want, because how do you want police coming in? You want them coming into an active shooter or you want them to come into a shooting that has happened? We want past tense and we <clears throat> want them more relaxed. That's right. Did your heart rate go up on that one? It's been high all day. <laughs> <laughs> if you carry a gun, you need legal protection. The United States Concealed Carry Association can offer that to you, legal protection, in case you have to protect yourself or your family with your gun. Fact of the matter is, you could be dealing with civil and criminal charges, and you need someone who's been there before. We worked out a deal with them. Click the link below to find out more information and start getting legal protection for yourself and your family. Hey, you just watched FPD, and we have a bunch of other stuff that you can find out about all the cool gun stuff we're doing at Gun Talk. So, Facebook, if you like to hang out where your parents hang out, or YouTube, if you like snarky comments and being an expert on everything anonymously, um, Instagram, if you just like to look at pictures, also guntalk.com, also the free Gundelio app, also guntalktv.com and guntalktv app. You can watch all of our videos there. Oh wait, also Gun Talk Podcast. We got one of the best podcasts out there, so check it out. Lots of different stuff. Check out all the Gun Talk stuff.